Hello darlings, since I moved to Istanbul I had the opportunity and the pleasure to taste so many different types and varieties of hummus. Today I want to share with you my classic recipe for hummus, so let's get started. In here we have 2 cups of dry chickpeas which I soaked them overnight in water. In that water I also added 1 teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate and I advise you to do the same. I've noticed that it's boiling faster the chickpeas if I use prior to the boiling um, the sodium bicarbonate while soaking. 1 quarter cup or 60 ml olive oil. One tablespoon garlic powder. Two tablespoon tahini paste. Please taste your tahini before. If it is very bitter, try to use less. One teaspoon paprika powder. One quarter teaspoon coriander powder. Half tablespoon cumin. 1 tablespoon salt, approximate of course, 4 pieces of ice, 4 garlic cloves, big ones, and some juice from this lemon. I prefer to not use, I prefer my hummus without lemon juice, I don't know why it's sweeter so <laughs> I like it more. Add your chickpeas to a deep pot, cover it with water and cook it for approximate 30-40 minutes after the boiling point. The boiling time may vary depending on the size of your chickpeas, so please feel free to test it before turning off the fire. During boiling it will create this white foam, so remove it with a spoon. Now that it's cooked I'm going to drain the water and I'm going to add some cold water to cool them off. This step is optional, but I advise you to make it. Uh, as you can see, I'm rubbing the chickpeas between my hands, so the skin will be easily removed. I prefer to do this step because I notice the hummus is much creamier and also the chickpeas itself are easier to digest. The chickpea skin are sitting on the top of the water, so once you drain the water, they will also drop. From now everything is very simple, you just need to add all the ingredients into a blender or a food processor and just mix them all up. You can add more water until it will have the consistency you desire. In my case, I really needed to add some water, they were a little bit dry so the blender was not making its job. And now this is the result, this is how it looks like. Now it's the perfect moment to give it a try and see if it needs more salt. For the plating I use some different condiments like paprika, spice blends of za'atar, olive oil, parsley, pepper, but you can use whatever you have and whatever you like. It's In here it's the time where you can be very creative and where you can use with no problem any type of condiment. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe, thank you for watching and bon appetit!